Hey everybody, welcome back to my Bake Like a Pro YouTube channel. Let's have a little bit of fun with some dark tempered chocolate. I've got a chocolate tempering machine right here. This here is made by ChocoVision. It is the Revelation 2B right here. I have an unboxing of that and a very detailed review in another video. If you want to see that, I'll put it a link to it down in the description box below this video. So I have tempered the, the dark chocolate and I just want to grab some here with a spoon. I'm going to get it right here. I'm going to get it right onto a stainless steel table that I'm working with. I'm going to get quite a bit on here. So I'll just spread it around. That's good. You can make this really, really large if you want to make a lot of these little chocolate curl type things that you can use with chocolate cakes and any type of cakes. Really fun and they give a nice finishing texture to the outside of the cake. So that's good just like that. Perfect. So you can see here with my hand the size of this that I'm going to be working with today. So that's perfect. Now what I want to do is I just want to let this completely set and that's going to take a number of minutes. Dark chocolate for me will start firming up around four to five minutes. This is a little bit thicker so it's probably going to take about 10 minutes before I actually start seeing it setting halfway through the chocolate. Around five minutes I will start seeing it. You can actually see that it starts getting a little bit dry or set on the top. But it'll probably take a good half an hour before it's completely firm. So what I'm going to do now, I'll just let this completely firm up and then it'll come back and I'll show you the technique. So this is about one hour later. I wasn't in a rush so I just let this completely set up. I probably could have done this at the 40 minute mark but it's an hour later and here we go. So I'm using a little bench scraper and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it like this and I'm just going to start pushing so I get it right up against the table and then I just kind of push it. And just just kind of eat away at that chocolate. And you can see what's happening here. We're getting some really nice bits of chocolate that what you can do is frost your cake and then you take these and just stick them to that frosting. And it makes a really nice design. Very visually pleasing. So just like that. You'll see some people, they'll come in on the opposite side here and they'll go like this, whatever way works for you. So you can go like this and you can actually shave the chocolate, just like that, with so different techniques. You can do a little bit like this, thin it out, and then you can come back like this. You can see these ones here, when you're pushing from the back towards the front, you're getting more of a, like a longer little ribbon of chocolate like this. And if you come in from the back, it tends to break it up into smaller pieces. But you can see how nice this is. And don't worry, I will zoom in on this once I have finished. So just like that, you can see how nice this is. So you just push, 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 and just slowly eat away at that mass of chocolate. So I'm gonna continue doing this and I'll come back right at the end. there we have it. Look how much we have created from that little puddle of dark chocolate. Pretty amazing. So I do want to keep this video really short so I'm gonna end it here but I just wanted to put my knife through here and just show you how much of these chocolate shavings that we were able to create with that little bit of chocolate. Nice and airy. You want to keep these in a cool dry place and then you can use them as chocolate decorations for anything. You can sprinkle them on little chocolate tarts, a little bit maybe on a lemon tart, you know, to give it a little bit of contrast. You can use these on the sides of your cake so you'll frost your cake and then you just take these and just pack it around. I would suggest that you use some kind of glove, either rubber gloves or if you don't want to use little rubber gloves, make sure you pick up the chocolate, 
put it on there very, very quickly, and then remove your hand because you don't want to melt the chocolate. But there we have it. So a really simple video, a really fun one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you wish. I really do appreciate that. If you're on Facebook, you can check me out at facebook.com slash bakelikeapro. You can also check me out on Instagram. I post a lot of my own photos, as well as a lot of reposts from many of the top chocolatiers and pastry chefs in the world. And that address is instagram.com slash bakelikeapro. That's it for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.